Stock investors lost 252 billion naira as the Nigerian exchange sustained its bearish trading on Thursday. The market lost about 467 billion naira between Tuesday when it resumed after the Easter holidays and Thursday. The bearish trend on the local boss followed the announcement of an increase in the capital base of banks in the country, a move that capital market stakeholders have said would boost the market. Maristem Research, in its banking sector update on the recapitalization, projected that of the three options that the Central Bank of Nigeria gave the banks to recapitalize in 24 months, most lenders would explore rights issues. At the close of Thursday's trade, the All Share Index trended downward by 0.43% to 1,103,736.08, while the market capitalization depreciated by the same percentage to 58.65 trillion naira. Transaction volume rose by 20.42% to 487.73 million. Uh, units worth 15.63 billion naira from the 8,908 deals. Now, the African Development Bank has signed a $75 million loan agreement with Nigeria's Indurama LMA Fertilizer Chemicals Limited. The bank announced this in a statement issued on on its website on Thursday. According to AFDB, the loan will enable Indura to increase its fertilizer production and develop a port terminal for exports. It stated that the loan would support food production and food security across regional and international markets while fostering job creation in Nigeria. It added that the expansion would include the development of a third urea fertilizer production line and a new shipping terminal at Indurama's facilities in Port Harcourt. It disclosed that the new production line and terminal, which would help meet the growing global demand for fertilizer, were expected to create up to 8,000 direct and indirect jobs in Nigeria. And now the foreign trade statistics data published by the National Bureau of Statistics says imports of raw materials into the country rose by 25% to 3 trillion naira in 2023. The major raw materials imported during the period included cane sugar, other lubricating oils meant to be mixed further, preparations of milk containing vegetable fats and oils, mixtures of odoriferous substances, sheets for veneering, and among others. Conversely, Nigeria could only export raw materials worth 1.8 trillion naira between 2022 and 2023 recording a 3.6 trillion era balance of trade. Speaking with Newsman, the chief executive officer of the Center for the Promotion of Private Enterprise, Muda Yusuf, linked the increase in raw materials imports in our attempts to the depreciation of the Naira. In the last few years, manufacturers had lamented that over-reliance on imported raw materials had been an arbitrage on the rail sector of the economy. Now, the federal government has launched a technical committee to initiate the $617.7 million investment in digital and creative enterprises IDAS program. Vice President Kashim Shatima, who inaugurated the committee in Abuja, expressed confidence that it would revolutionize the nation's digital and creative sectors. The IDAS program, a collaborative effort between the government and international partners, such as the Bank of Industry, African Development Bank, French Development Agency, and Islamic Development Bank, aims to support and empower businesses in these sectors. The National Economic Council endorsed the program's implementation in all 36 states and the federal capital territory during its recent meeting in March. Vice President Shetima stated that the Ministry of Finance has been tasked with ensuring prompt fund disbursement for the iDice program to facilitate its swift execution. He emphasized that this initiative would lead to innovative collaborations and numerous opportunities reshaping Nigeria's digital and creative landscape. 